Stanford University. A bunch of my students just over a year or so ago came up with a way to build a new kind of wireless radio. And this radio, unlike radios before it, has the unique capability that it can receive and transmit at the same time. Designing radios that could transmit and receive at the same time was thought to be generally impossible. For the first design, the radio has, rather than one transmit antenna, has two transmit antennas. And then it has a receive antenna positioned between them. So what happens is the two transmitted signals interfere destructively at the receive antenna, and the receive antenna doesn't hear the signal. It effectively hears not silence, but very, very quiet version of the signal because those two conflicting signals cancel each other. And so you create this null position where the receiver doesn't hear itself, and so it can actually receive packets from other radios. Now we have actually shown that you can design radios that can transmit and receive at the same time. So this can uh, have a big impact on how wireless networks are used. Where, especially in cases where you have a highly loaded network, so if you have uh, tens of users using a single access point, or if you have a few users using uh, a single access point very heavily. You, know, you could use this at uh, an air traffic control center. In the military scenario, suppose you're in a battlefield and the enemy is actually trying to jam your signal. You are also trying to communicate with your own soldier at the same time. So one potential application of such a technology could be to see how you could cancel out the signal that the enemy is generating, trying to jam you. When a radio is transmitting, its own transmission is millions, billions times stronger than anything else it might hear. And so there's no way it could hear anyone's trying to hear a whisper while you're, you, know, you yourself are shouting. But the, that's sort of the whole beauty of the technique is that by setting up the antennas in this way, you can make it that you don't hear your own shout and you can hear someone else's whisper. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.